Let me explain to you guys why in 2024, my Belize investment strategy is completely changing. If you've been following the journey, then you know that several years ago, I got involved in the industry here in Belize real estate as an agent. I also was trying to make investments at the time and the journey, well, it wasn't an easy one. Some of my first videos, they were pretty cringy. We're getting ready to roll in here. Blue Hole National Park. I and let it shine. And it took a lot of time to get to the point I am now where I know so much more about how to invest in Belize real estate, where the opportunities are, and really how to navigate this system. And at the very end of this video, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I'm personally investing in now as someone that knows the insider details on the market. But let me take you back to that first investment I ever made. What did you do for this specific project? Something that was eco-friendly, something that was off-grid, and something that was in paradise near beautiful beaches. And Belize was the perfect fit for that. At the time, the idea was something that, to the best of my knowledge, had not been done. But what I wanted to do was find an affordable way to invest in the market because I wasn't as well positioned as I am today. I was learning about where the opportunities are and what money I had, I wanted to make sure it counted. So when I said I need to find a property that's going to maximize the cost, benefit, in this particular investment, I went all over Belize, which led me to a small village called Spanish Lookout. I found different companies there that provided prefab homes and I went in and met with a company called Premier Homes and said, can you guys ship these homes over to San Pedro? Obviously, we're on the island here. It's the largest island in Belize. So this was a challenge that we had to overcome, but they told me they could. And basically how they would do it is they would load this home onto a truck, then they would load the truck onto a barge and then they would barge this unit over to the island to my lot and then they would drop it on the lot, on the pile, secure it down. So I said, sounds good, it makes sense, the price seems pretty good, let's do it. Now after I had done this, it became a very popular concept. Obviously we had covered it and people started doing these homes all over Secret Beach. In fact, every time I go over there now, it feels like a new hardwood home is popping up. And I promise you guys I would break down the approximate cost of how that looks. So I've done that for you here and I'm going to go over it line item by line item. So our first thing would be to secure your land. Typically right now, the lots start around 50,000. There is 25% down financing available. If you want info on the lots, my contact info is up there. So this is a prime example of what we have seen up until this point. These typical Belizean hardwood homes, which I still love, and I'm actually doing this one right now, of course. So for a home like the one you're looking at, the house was 50,000. It is a 20 by 30, so 600 square foot home. Now the piles were separate and I had to put 8,000 into getting my footings and piles set. I also had a survey, which a resurvey is typically around 500 US. And into the solar package is 12 solar panels, five batteries, one power inverter, the wiring and the brackets and the labor, which all comes out to 22,300. That's in Belize dollars, so you gotta divide that by two. I'm also budgeting an additional 10,000 for my septic and my water tank cistern because it is off grid fully here. So add that up, do the mathing total. Well, it's right here. And that's kind of the full breakdown, guys. I would add in another maybe 15 to 20,000 just for other expenses that might come up, furniture, whatever it might be. I just wanna manage your guys' expectations, but that's the rough cost. And it's led to so many clients of ours continuing to build these homes. And I actually wanted to have some of them tell you a little bit about the experience. Hey, um, I'm Ryan Kelsey. And I'm Heidi Kelsey. Uh, we're from Connecticut, great state of Connecticut, Yukon Huskies. <laughs> we were here back in uh, 22 on a cruise and we were uh, at a private island in Belize. Mm, and yes. it was beautiful. It was we beautiful. It. We fell in love. So we decided to research and then we started watching a lot of YouTube videos and came upon Will's videos, hours of Will's videos. And um, we were able to get in contact with Shane and sight unseen, we were looking at properties, right? We ended up purchasing. Shane took us out to the property. It was literally like a, a, like a jungle, <laughs> right? It, it was like a jungle. We had it cleared and filled and it turned out to be great. Like Awesome. We went through Plex. We met with the builders out there and um, they gave us an opportunity to see our prefab home and what the process was. We did that and we fell in love with our prefab. Oscar um, is another contractor um, and he took care of our septic, cistern, 
and he will be taking care of our solar once our house gets delivered today. I know it's a, it's trust a different the process. Trust the process. It's <laughs> a different country. I get it. Just when you get here, the key word is believe it and take it slow. Now, those type of properties can be a great fit for so many different people like you just saw, and they are amazing homes. But for me, I've shifted my focus a little bit away from that aesthetic to a new style. That's right, the kind of Tulum habitat style. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm gonna be building soon, but why have I done this? Well, before I might've looked at a lot or a house or something along those lines and said, potentially I'm going to sell it within a few years. Maybe I'm trying to sell it within the next five years. But one of the fundamental realizations I've had is that the true winners in Belize are the people with a long-term vision that are in the market for a long time. And you can do that with any home type or any property type. But if I'm doing something that is going to be with me for a long time, I want to make sure it meets the same essence and energy that I want to bring. And that's why I'm going to be building one of these habitat homes. Now we've made a custom plan and we're going to cover the entire process for you guys so I can educate you on how it works. But also several other clients have just invested in the area and I wanted you guys to hear why they made the choice to invest. Biggest thing was the, you really attract, Ruben really attracted us with the Tulum style builds. And I used to, I, I used to really be into like architecture and like I graduated with a civil engineering degree. So as soon as I saw those layout plans, it just really attracted me with like the big, the big windows, the concrete builds. And after just going to Secret uh, Beach, like checking out the area, like just last weekend, uh, it's nice to just see like what con a concrete build could be just by looking at the pool resort. And then like versus like the wooden builds, which like, yeah. which are cool too. But like, I think for us that, that suited more of our style. Yeah. So that's 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 what gravitated for me at least. Yeah. And another thing we really liked about Habitat was just the fact that you know what your neighbors are going to be building versus in some other places, like you don't know who, like what your neighbor is going to build. If it's going to be like a party club, it might be really loud. At least in Habitat, you know the style of your neighbor is going to be similar. Um, so I think that was another like draw towards Habitat compared to some of the other lots for us. Yeah, it was nice to have like the consistency in the neighborhood because it adds to the entire vibe. Like yeah. I thought it was like even just being in Mahogany, like I just saw the whole street. So it wasn't just like one lot that was nice. It was nice to see like, oh, you're coming home or you're, you're going to a place and there's landscaping, it's all consistent. And I thought that would kind of like help with the, you know, the property value and such as well. Yeah. yeah. And for so many people, the logic is very similar to what you just saw. And you might be watching this right now thinking that, hey, that applies to me. Well, that's why I've kind of gone through this process and gotten this custom plan going where we're going to be doing a roughly 1500 square foot, two story habitat home with a pool. The final renderings aren't completed yet, but when we get all of that squared away, which should be happening in the coming months here, you guys are gonna to get to watch the whole process unfold. So if any of this is of interest to you, or if you feel that you want to really learn about what's going on in Belize or the real estate market, as always guys, my email will be up there. I'm so excited to bring you guys on this journey of the next investment property I'm going to be working on. And from here guys, if you are interested in learning more about the development of the island or what the latest upcoming news is, you might wanna check out this interview I did with the mayor. And other than that guys, I can't wait to see you in the next video and hopefully out here in paradise soon.